It is time for another episode of the Orioles franchise. This has been the most fun I've had on the game in a very long time, especially since we've proven a lot of people wrong, man. Last episode, we went on to Hall of Fame difficulty, and we still were decent. Today, we got a full-length gameplay. We're trying to see if that was the real deal. Am I actually going to be nice if we have Hall of Fame hitting and Hall of Fame pitcher? Hey, listen, I've spent a lot of time today. I mean, a lot of time today watching people videos about scouting at MLB The Show. I was watching MLB The Show 21 videos, but I'm guessing it's going to be the same. And I'm excited, man. The draft is just nine days away. And since we are a rebuilding team, I know we're two games over 500, and that's second in the division. We're still a rebuilding team. And I'm excited about what this draft can, can hold. I know what type of player to look for. And hopefully I put together six good rounds. Is this six good rounds of drafting? Um, we got a few names that I'm super interested in. And we don't have any, like, if you look over here on my accuracy, when nine days left, nine days left, um, we have not scouted a lot of people but i've watched some videos and i know what to look for and i'm gonna go a couple days of us scouting J jay hall jermaine hall who's a first baseman um a couple days of him a couple days of this guy and i only need the bare minimum if all the videos that i saw are correct i only need the bare minimum and that'll let me know if this person is worth drafting once we get there i'm excited i got some people i think i already know who my first round pick is gonna be but only time will tell okay today's video we are going against the yankees who are um, a 500 team. We're slightly above them. So it could be a big game. I think the one we want to play is this one with Dean. Because uh, we haven't pitched with him yet this season. And their, their pitching staff is a struggle too. I don't want to go ace versus ace. Because I feel like I've pitched with John Means a lot this video in these videos already. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're going to New York. And Dean Cre Creamer? Let me, I got to double check that. It is Creamer. Um... Which is, uh, th that's his name. That's his name. Dean Creamer. Let's go, man. First time going against New York in this series, and I'm excited about it. It's a nice little night game. Okay. Their ERA is not that much better than ours. So their pitching staff is really struggling, too. But the difference is we got bats in our lineup. They do, too, like when you think about it. But in the game, they're only hitting 256 as a team. And, oh, I haven't changed up our jerseys yet. Oh, man. You know what? We going very classic with it. The 51 jerseys. Is that a St. Louis hat? Well, this organization used to be in St. Louis or something. We're going with the Road 51. We are the Browns in today's video. Oh, that's nice. Since Odor is uh, cold and he is tired, we're going to give him the day off. He's hitting 220 on the season and he's tired. So Tyler Nevins is in the lineup now. Um, so good, good luck there, Tyler. We're going to have him bat an a-hole. And I see that Ramon Urias, too, is also a little bit tired here. But I think I'm going to make bro play through this. Because I think last episode we played, he was tired and we, we made him sit out. You can sit out tomorrow when we not playing and we just simulate it. So, yeah, their lineup looks pretty good. You got Judge, you got Sandy, you got Josh Donaldson, Joey Gallo, Rizzo's batting in the seven hole. They got Gleyber Torres. They got a lot of good bats on their team. They haven't really been able to put it together just yet. But, hey, I mean, this might be the day. Hall of Fame pitching? Jordan Montgomery has a five-pitch repertoire. It's a starting off as a one-two count. Great. That's that's exactly the way we wanted to start the video off. That's, 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 that's great. I decided to keep quick counts on, mostly for the process after the video where I'm sending it to the editor just to make things more smooth. I saw some people weren't a fan of it. But I just, I just figure it makes the most sense. But real life though, the people that see it, oh, I don't like quick counts. What? I didn't even show you the first three pitches of the at-bats anyway if it didn't end in a hit. So this is not different for you as a viewer. It's not, it's, it, it's no different. You know what I'm saying? So, God, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Let's get back into the game though. I struck out the first battle. That's fine. It's one, two count again. All right. Uh... That's, that's all right. <clears throat> Three, two count now. I got to get back in the swing of things. And I mean that in a literal sense. And that's 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 how you do that. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you do that, man. That's how you get back in the swing of things. You see a pitch and you hit it and you hit a home run. Ryan Mountcastle is the man. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Nobody can tell me otherwise. I know it's only 11 on the season, but I swear seven of those have come when we've played with him. When we're in the batter's box. 3-2 count. He takes a yard, baby. Beautifully done. Get off my bat ball. You know we got to say it. That's amazing. 
take our walk. <laughs> we'll take our walk, baby. Uh, is getting that down. Oh, and he, he misplayed it in center. That's going to get a second run to go. Nice double from Santander. Maybe it's counted as a single and an error. I'm not completely sure. But we got two runs on the board already. Santander doing his thing. 2-1 count for Austin Hayes right off rip. Come on, Hayes. Keep, keep this inning going. We got a little two-hour rally go going on. We got a two-hour rally going on. Come on, 2-1. Keep it going. Has played his entire five-year career with the Orioles. That's for sure. That's for sure. And he'll be here for, for the foreseeable future the way he's playing this season. He's one of our pieces. And just like that, that's a that I don't know who's playing center right now, but I'm I'm sending them home, baby. I'm sending. Wait, let me just let me just double check. Let me just gameplay. It's so Hall of Fame. Your boys just kind of. I might have to put it up to legend. That's what we're learning. That's what we're learning. I might have to just put it up to legend because I'm nice like that. Stop it. Okay, but can we get Rutschman to to keep this inning alive? Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. It's just another batter. It's just another batter. It's just another batter. It's just another batter. There we go. That's a base hit with Adley Rutschman. I cannot believe we finally done it. It took five episodes, but we got a base hit with Adley Rutschman, and that's all we needed. We saw it once, and it's this is real life a two-out rally. He struck out the first and second batter. We, we're on batter number, was this, seven, eight in the lineup? Yeah. Come on, Nevins. I don't know what Nevis can and can't do. I don't know if we got him batting in the right spot. But we're going we gonna to do our thing. We're going to try to do our thing. Tyler Nevins. I'm a little bit late on the on the 12 6 that was high in the zone. I was late. Ah, I'm mad at myself. That's a good that's a good inning for us. A good half of an inning for us. Putting up three runs for Dean Kramer. Kramer. It's Kramer. Fastball cutter curve. Circle change. All right. Starting off 2 1 on this at bat. Kramer. Wow. Wow. That's not great. But we, we got out. We're going to get out of that with a with a with with an out. All right. So we got Glaber Torres up next. He's got three home runs, but he's hitting 250. I've been reading the comment section, and y'all say I worry about the wrong statistics. Uh, Austin Hayes can make that play without diving, can he? Nope. I'm so afraid to dive in the outfield because if you miss it, it's a double. And I'd much rather just give up the easy single than give up a double. Um, but I've been, I've been reading the comment section, and y'all been saying, Kenny, you be worried about the wrong statistics. And y'all might be right. All right, maybe I should stop looking at the players overall. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 buckle down. Stop worrying about a player's overall batting average and stuff like that because those don't mean a lot. I, I, I gotta look at the, the other stats because for me, growing up, batting average and all of that stuff was the oh, 14 game streak. Batting average was like the only thing we cared about really. Um, but I guess things have evolved, so it's more than that. That's a double play ball. That's a double play ball. No. No way he takes that route. No way he takes that route to make it happen. Come on, Urias. And that was Josh Donaldson's on an eight-game hitter streak. He's got 10 home runs on the on the year. And we're starting off on a 3-2 count, so there is no wiggle room. Oh, my God. See, this is why I like quick counts. There's a lot of pressure here. That's a double. Come on, Urias. This is this is the one. No speed over there. We added an inning without giving up a... Ooh, there we go, boys. That's how you get out of a jam jam. Oh, my God. All right. It might be one of those games, though. I love it. And that's a base hit. Somehow. Not great PCI and early. I'm getting a lot of fluke hits, baby. We'll take them. A hit is a hit. And we, we're back to the guy. 1-1 <laughs> one, one count for Mr. Mountcastle. Uh-huh. Nope. That wasn't it. That one net, baby. That one net. That 12 6 did drop. It dropped a little bit too much for me. Come on, Mr. Mountcastle. 2 1. 2 1. That is a base hit. Woo! Maybe a double form. Maybe a 100% a double form. All right, we're going to Legend next episode. Do you see what my PCI was? And listen, listen. I can't control that, y'all. We cannot control that. Everything has been the same. I, I, I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of fluke. I'm getting a lot of fluke, but I won't complain. Oh, I'm early on it, on the change. It looked like a fastball coming out of his hands, and it was right down the middle. I just sold potentially a home run pitch. Mancini, that's late. Dang, and it was off. Okay, we don't, we don't score a run even though we had that little fake rally. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
He was hitting 135 on the season. And I, I don't think I gave him no BS to hit. I, I didn't think I gave him no BS to hit, did I? I got to see where that pitch ended. I got to see where that pitch ended up. He just hit a no doubt. Like, he just smoked that ball. Oh, my God. It was a cutter a little bit. It was and He got an early. You know what? I can't. Listen, I'm not going to be mad because we've definitely got some fluky hits. So, the fact that he hit an early home run, I'm not even mad at it. I'm not even mad at it. Just don't give him. Don't let them do that again. Don't let them do that again. 3-2 count. And we got him swinging. All right, we get out of the, the inning. It's going two for two on the day, Adley. Change up. I, I think I pulled it too far, and I was early. Gee, I'm off my... Even though we put a, a three spot in that first inning, I'm off my game. And then we get a base hit. And I'm late. Oh, man. All right. Still 3-1. Going into the bottom of the third. Stanton is the one out in center that made that mistake earlier in the first inning. I can tell you who their outfield is, but not at where they're playing in the outfield. You know? I know there's going to be Judge. I'm sure Gallo is out there. I just didn't know who was where. Creamer makes the play. Easy. First out of the inning. Oh, I'm selling. I'm selling. I'm selling. Thank God. Bro, my pitching is so bad, bro. My pitching is so very bad. Okay, that's 100% accuracy. That's a perfect pitch. It went exactly where I wanted it to go. All right. I got to just do that all every time. Here it goes again. 100%. A little bit early, but that was enough to get the pop out. Okay, as long I need to just to dial in. If I dial in, they're not going to be getting those hits. You know? It's easy to do on a cutter. It's harder to do on like a like a circle change. See, look at that. Look at that. I'm 30% accuracy too slow. On a cutter, though, I'm kind of nasty with getting 100% on the cutter. That's all I'm saying. What about the fastball? 87% with the perfect release. And sit your butt down. Easy. Creamer out here, he said, for, don't even think about the fact that I got to fast up the ERA. I'm better than that. The commentator says his name one way, and the announcer that's in up to bat says his name a different way. Is that dropping? It is dropping. Just take take the single. Take the single. Wow. They say it differently. So I don't know how to pronounce it. I got, I've heard it both ways. Your mind, Urias, your mind, Urias, is it Urias? I don't know. But literally, both say it differently. And that's a walk. Who's up to bat? Who's up to bat? Is it Trey Mancini? Ah, <laughs> uh, Trey Mancini. Do what you got to do. Ooh, okay. All right, Mr. Montgomery. I see you throwing some, some heat. Come on. Let's go. That is... Oh, it, it ate him up. That's, that's going to get a run to score at the, at the bare minimum. It get a run to score. It's 4-1. Baltimore Orioles. Listen, we're we not just going to swing at no BS, man. This is Santander we're talking about. This is Mr. Santander. Tony. Foolish. I looked foolish. The changeup looks so much like a fastball off the hands, bro. And I was way ahead of that one. It was kind of embarrassing. But, hey, we still got to run out of it. That's all I really care about. Here's Stanton. Nevin. Third base. Got the glove. That weak old line of you to hit my boy. That had to be a very early or very late. It was very early. Mr. Donaldson, can you make up for that error you had over there that cost him a run? Ooh, good contact. Good contact. Warning track shot. <laughs> he thought it. He thought he did something, but he didn't. He, he thought he gave that run back, but he didn't. All right, Joey Gallo's up to bat. 100% accuracy on the fastball so far. Release it. It's exactly where I wanted it to be. See, okay. All right, Kenny. You're good, bro. We're actually getting way better here. Not 100%. That was on the corner sit down i'm legit going to legend next episode i don't care bro it's still too or it's still too easy on the pitcher side specifically bro on the pitcher side specifically we got a pitcher in it's like a 70 overall at max i, I might be exaggerating he might be worse than a. oh wait 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 no he might be worse than a 70 let me see he's a 66 and he out here dealing on the yankees bro he's dealing right now <laughs> so yes things might not be the greatest uh we're gonna have to make some more changes to it it's very fluid y'all we still trying to i got a better eye than that 
I got a better eye than that. And look where my PCI was and where the, the changeup has been killing me, Jordan. If you do more changeups. <laughs> it don't matter what you threw. It didn't matter what you threw, Mr. Montgomery. Austin Hayes is one of the best to do it. Ninth of the year. Get off my bat ball. Jeez. That was disgusting. Oh, that's it for Jordan Montgomery on the day. Skip is coming in to get him. And we got Rodriguez in, who just got traded over from the Mets, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, but I feel like he was a Met last year. Um, I didn't know that Tyler Nevin was having such a solid season. 294 as a bench bat, five home runs, and 14 RBIs. He's having a really good season as somebody that subs in every once in a while. Shout out to him. That's good contact on a circle. That might be down. Yes, it is. A double for Mr. Mr. Nevin. Is Nevin nice? Yo. I'm 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 interested. I'm very, very interested. But our MVP is up. He's hitting 347, one for three on the night. Man is in scoring position for you. Early. I'm early on it. That's not dropping. Or maybe it does. Oh, man. It, he just got a little bit too much air on it. A little bit too much air on it. I didn't think that their outfield is covered that much ground. But I guess they do. All right. We're still doing a great job on the pitching side. Dean, Dean Creamer is, is doing it. Throw this curveball down and out. It's a 93. That's not good. I can just see it now. I can literally see it now. When it's going to happen. I can see it when it's going to happen. That's fine, though. That's fine. Um, we knew that their bats are going to wake up eventually, especially if I'm throwing some BS. So everything's good as long as we can do stuff like that. Routine fly out for Austin Hayes. Get that ball in. One out. Double play ball coming up. Double play ball coming up. Depends on who's up to bat, actually. Okay. Double play ball, definitely a possibility. Hagoshiaka. I just almost gave him a home run ball. Did you see? That was said 69% accurate, which is nice, but not what we're looking for. And that is another base hit. Okay. Here come those Yankees, huh? I'm going to warm up D.L. Hall and Hunter Wood, who has a 10, 10 ERA. That can't be who he really is, though. All right. There we go. Got a routine pop out from Mateo right here. That's beautiful. One out away. One out away. Got you. This is easy, but it's against Glaber. I feel like he's due. He's one for two on the day, but he flies out to Santander. Dean Creamer, you deserve to get the ball at the sixth because you just got out of that fifth inning. Beautiful. We're playing great bat baseball here in Baltimore. I just, I can't make it up. We're just, we're just so very nice with the stick right now. I mean, their pitching staff is throwing us things down the middle. You see where that pitch ended up? That was a circle change basically down the middle. Like, how do you expect us not to jump all over that? 3-2 count for Mancini. We're sending the runner, because why not? This 3-2. That's why you don't. That's, that's... That's why you don't send the runner. That's why you don't send the runner, unless there's two outs. I, listen, I know it's typical baseball, but bro, it, I, it never works out for me. It never works out. I'm done. I'm done sending a runner on a 3-2 unless it is two outs and there's literally nothing to lose. Man, they are not getting enough of the ball, but they got a couple warning shot tracks today. No matter what, this is going to be the last inning for Mr. Dean Kramer. Kramer. He's been great since the first. Um, but with a four-point or four-run lead and his energy getting kind of low, we're going to look to our bullpen to close out the last three or so innings. We got to get out of this one first. I'm already thinking in the future. Right? Let's get out of this one, and then we'll start uh, talking about it. I think I throw D.L. Hall in for his first for his MLB debut. I think that's what we do. MLB debut. I think that's going to be the title of the video, actually. Typical fly out. I mean, how many hits do they have? They have five total hits on the day. So, Dean, you deserve, you know, the game ball from this performance so far. Just gave up one, one bad pitch only. I only gave up one bad pitch today, and it ended up in a home run. Everything else has been in the park. 
And if it's in the park, then it's, it wasn't a bad pitch. You know what I'm saying? As long as it does not leave the park, we're good. 100% accuracy here, 100% accuracy there, and it still fell to the dirt. That's fine. 2-2. Two -two. High heat. I see you Adley setting up high and away. Yeah, yeah, it's the time. It's the time. Shout out to Kramer. Kramer. DL Hall gets his first appearance. His first appearance in the majors right here, right now. Lefty, lefty. And he's going against Joey Gallo. Fastball, curveball, slider. It's already a 3-2 count. No way. In between the gaps. Wow. That's fine. That's fine. Focus on the batter, DL. Focus on the batter. Focus on the batter. That's all you need to do. Who's up to bat next? Um, okay. Maybe, may, maybe, just maybe, not the best time to put him in for his MLB debut, but it makes sense. Back-to-back -back lefties. Lefty, lefty. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. It makes sense. Have trust in the young fella to close this out. To close out this inning. After this, anything can happen. But as far as this inning goes, we trust him. Fastball inside. Enough to have him pop. Ramon over the shoulder. We're out of the inning. Shout out to D.O. Hall. Beautiful. Got the out that we needed. Beautiful, D.O. We might let you get the ball at least for the first couple batters of the next inning. Just to see how you do. Let's see how you do. Five pitch repertoire including a circle change that can hit up to 90. And he's hitting 100? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. D D oh, my God. All right. We good. We good. You know what I'm saying? We're not worried about this guy at all. We're not worried about that at all. We ground out. Oh, my God. We might be able to beat it out. And we do. <laughs> all right. And it's, it's classified as a base hit. And look who's up to bat. Look who's up to bat. Mr. Austin Hayes. No doubt a perfect, perfect glass at bat. Can you replicate it? Oh, my God. You're trying to hit me? And 3-2 count. And guess what I'm not going to do? Send my runner. He's fine. He, he, he's going to be okay if I keep him there. I promise you, everything's going to be great. But except for the fact that I was I was thinking fastball and it ended up being a slurve. Yeah, so that's not great. But it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to have to rock him a little bit. That's an oppo single. There you go, Adley. That's three hits on the night for Adley Rutschman. Beautiful night for him so far. Beautiful. And you notice nobody has tried to steal on them today. You know what I'm saying? Because they know better. All right, 2-2 two -two count. 2-2 two -two count for Mr. Nevin. Make it work. Make it work, Ty. Make it work. That's not it. Yep, full count again. Make this dude work, bro. There's no such thing as an easy out in this Orioles lineup. Those are days of the past where these guys are foolish. Those are days of the past. That's at least an, a, a tag... Oh, go, 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 go. What the heck? Oh, I sold. I sold. I absolutely sold. No, they sold. Okay. Bases are loaded. I can never tell if they're going to be able to cover the range, bro. Look like It looks like he was tracking it pretty well. And it ended up right over his head. All right. Jorge. 0 for 3 on the night. You're due. You're due, Jorge. You're due. I trust you. There's no other person in the lineup I'd rather have in this situation. This man, Josh Donaldson, has, has, has caused them two runs in third, at third. Two of them by bumbling, fumbling routine ground balls. Are you serious? Come on. Oh, Seti. Seti, bro. Seti. At the bare minimum, that's a sacrifice opportunity. Yep, there we go. And I guess I could have sent my guy from second, too, but I wasn't thinking. Wow. Josh Donaldson is playing for us. He's playing for us. And just like that, we got the dude that was throwing 100 out the game. And now we got um, Michael King, who's got a 6.57. And he's got sinker, slider, circle change, slur, fastball. This is fifth pitch. Okay. Oh, my God. All righty. Uh, regardless... We're out of the inning with an extra run. 
he was playing out, outside his character. First major league strikeout for D.L. Hall. Beautiful. Oh, uh, are they going to say it? They didn't say it. All right, that's fine. Now, to one two count on this one. He's just getting ahead in these, these uh, pitch counts early. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Beautifully done, boys. Beautifully done, boys. This man, Hall, is real life getting his first opportunities. Wow. And if he keeps up like this, it won't be very long before he gets his first start. Oh, Mateo Mc... Ah, I thought Mateo was going to be able to get there. But he's not. And we're out of the inning. Shout out to Hall. He pitched uh, an inning in the third. An inning in the third. Ended up with a strikeout. And never gave up a run. That's beautifully done for my, like, 21-year-old prospect. Um... I think I let Hunter Woods rock with the ball just because he is the one that's been warming up. And yeah, we leave it at that. Leave it at that. Maybe we get more runs on the board in these next two minutes. I don't know. Oh my God. I'm bad. That was so inside. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. All good though. We're going to put in Hunter Woods. See what Hunter Woods could do. He has a 10 ERA at the moment. And, oh, that's that's playable for Jorge. Got to make that throw. And he does. Home run leaders, by the way. It says number one, Cedric Mullins. Number three, Trey Mancini. And number five is Aaron Jugg. So <laughs> three of the top five home run hitters in this, um, this conference or in this league right now are in this game. And none of them have actually hit a home run this game, which is funny. All right, here we go. Hunter Woods. Thought I can get him chasing a little bit, but his eyes a little bit better than that. Oh, how does he keep finding? Oh, I don't know if it was him last time, but they keep hitting the ball the exact wrong spot. I guess the right spot for them in the gaps. And they're hitting it in the gaps every time. All right. Um, I'm going to warm up our boy Dylan Tate. He's been having a good season so far for us out the pen. And I trust him to be able to get out of any jam, basically. And it looks like this might be a jam. You're not going to send him. You are sending him? Are you bugging? Oh, well, our relays were too slow. Hunter Wood. Not very good, I see. Not very good. That 10 ERA is living up to it. All right, you you legit might get the ball taken away from you if you give up another run. All right, that's a, that's an out. That's an out we can get. Okay. See, I'm trying to get, bro, a little bit of more, more innings pitch so we can really see what we got. But I did sign him out of free agency. So, and he was in free agency probably for a reason. Now he's got to go against Rizzo. He needs one strike to get out of this inning. And... Oh, said he got that. Didn't he used to have gold fielding? Why is it only silver right now? Either way. Our last three at-bats, potentially. They got Zach Britton coming in. And we got Austin Hayes coming up. So he should be afraid. Sinker, slider, fastball. I mean... That looks like a routine fly ball the way he's jogging. It was. Okay. He, he wasn't running with a lot of emphasis in the movement. So I just figured that he was going to get under that, and he did. Here's Adley. Looking great today. P potentially his second best outing of all time. He did have that one game where he hit two home runs in it. Um, but he's been very consistent today. And that's what we're trying to get with this young guy. Consistency. We're going to put Dylan Tate in to get these last three outs. And let that be it. That'll be game. As long as we don't give up a grand slam plus, we'll be <laughs> we'll be good. We really left, let this man hit a home run on us earlier. Did you see that foolishness he just swung? And he got a base hit. Dang, I was talking trash. Right, I'm throwing a circle. It's not great. It's enough to get a double play ball, though. One out away, ladies and gentlemen. One out away from going into Yankee Stadium, stadium and getting a win. I mean, we are probably the odd favorite since we have the better record. But, I mean, still, it's still a team that, that should be better than us. So, I, I'm super excited if we can get out of here with this. It's IKF up to bat. Their last out. We just want to take care of him so they don't get to the heart of their lineup. 3-1 count. He grounds to Mateo. And just like that, these boys have won. Shout out to my Browns. My Brown Orioles. For going out there and putting on a crazy great performance for the fans at home, man. Home runs. We got some small ball plays. We got lucky on some on some uh, errors. And we walk out with a 7-3 win. Okay, so we ended up getting that win. 
Um, I'm going to simulate a few days, see what this next game in the series looks like. We lose that one, and we end up losing the series completely against them. But I'm not really worried about that. Uh, huh. D.L. Hall ended up getting credited for the loss here because he came out of the pen and, and at least pitched a little bit. Unfortunate. Now his ERA is a 5. I don't know what he did in that game. He gave up two runs in that inning. Dang, tough. Tough, tough, tough. All right. So I want to go back to scouting. And as long as we got these guys at least somewhat scouted, that might be enough for us to know exactly what we need to know. So this guy has 75 potential and a 65 overall, which is which is pretty good for him. 22 years old, though, so maybe not a dude that we try to go after in the first round because 22, he might already be doing his thing. But also a guy that, that looks pretty solid. Robbie Donaldson, 18-year-old, 75 potential, 65 overall. Okay, this guy is a pitcher with a four-pitch repertoire. He look all right. He's short. I don't know if that matters, <laughs> but he's short. And it's like he's going to be some years away. Um, this guy is okay, too. So I'm going to do the same thing and find some more prospects that look pretty good. Do a little bit of scouting to them. And next episode, we're going into the draft. And actually, I'm, I'm recording the draft in the same setting because I'm so excited for that. Okay, so I got my next four guys that I think are worth scouting. And maybe they turn into something. We got a shortstop. A left fielder and two pitchers, um, which is pretty solid. And now we got, what, six days until the draft. We have a series against Boston. See how this goes. Two home runs for Mancini. We're going to let him do his thing. He's going to ride out and get that win. Uh, we have an injury to Colton and Trip Way, who's one of our top prospects, but that looks like it's minor. Game two of the series is a loss. That's okay. And look at Colton right back. I'm going back to scouting to see how much scouting they do. I'm, I'm so invested in the scouting stuff, bro. Next episode, I'm guaranteeing... Nah, nah, let's not do that. I'm going to use all the clues that I got in those previous videos to put together a good draft. That's all. See, it only takes like a day or two for them to scout an individual prospect. We almost 100% on this guy, and he, he, looks, he looks okay. This is another guy here. Good speed, but he's so far away. He's a left fielder that's 5'9", and I like the short kings for show. Uh, this guy's three-pitch repertoire as a starting pitcher. Don't really love that. Okay, let's go find more people. Tie game but he can walk it off. I'm not jumping in. And he did walk it off, actually. Uh, next one, they win. And now we're just one day away from the draft. And I think that's where we end off today's episode. Um, another successful one, man. We are tied with the, the Yankees went on a nice little win streak after we beat them. And they have tied us as far as the number two team in the division. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave it a like. Be looking out for the draft episode because I'm super excited and hopefully it goes well. Leave a like. See y'all tomorrow or another day. Peace.